Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about congenital foot deformity key differential diagnosis. Key differential diagnosis issue. Do not attempt to diagnose foot deformity without wedge bearing or simulated wedge bearing radiograph. Most congenital foot deformity can be diagnosed by evaluation of three relationships, hind foot achiness or galkiness, or lateral radiograph or angle between line B by seeking galkiness and tibia arrangement. From 60 to 90 degree. Hip foot eagerness. Tibial calcaneal angle more than 90 degree. Excessive plantar flexion of calcaneus. Hip foot calcaneus, tibia, tibial calcaneal. Angle less than 60 degree. Excessive dose reflection of carganus. Term cabos. In foot varus or vulgus, one lateral radiograph normal angle between line by section talus and calcanus rank 25 to 55 degree term, kit angle or rather talo calcanus angle. On AP radiograph normal rank, Angle between line by setting talus and calcaneus ring 15 to 40 degree. What does mean? Degrees talo calcaneal angle bone approach parallel less than 25 on lateral and less than 15 degree on AP. Vargas input increase talo calcaneal angle bone diverge more than 55 degree on lateral and more than 40 degree on AP. Four foot varus or vargas. On lateral diagram, metatarsal and not more moderately superimposed. With fifth metatarsal in quantum most portion angle of inclination of metatarsal gradually increase from fifth five degree for fifth to twenty degree for first metatarsal. On a radiograph, metatarsal normally so moderate. Convergent of base. What is focal inversion and subdination on lateral decrease supreme position of metatarsal rather light? With fifth metatarsal in plantar most portion, on AP increase overlap of metatarsal base. Vargas for foot version, uh, eversion and pronation on lateral. Increase supreme position of metatarsal with first metatarsal in front and most portion on 80 degrees conversion of metatarsal base. Move down. 
Mook content of food, deformity, match tie of hen food and four food, deformity, virus, hen food with virus for food, vulgus hen food with vulgus for food. If hen food and four food deformity are unmatched, virus in food and virus for food or virus in food and virus for food. It is usually due to spastic food. Can use of the sound to check the orientation of the tars are born before they are diagnosed, before they are radiographically visible. Helpful clue for common diagnosis. Metatasis abduction. More common structural foot abnormality of infant. Incident one to two over one thousand birth. Abduction or metatasis. Long as is more convergent proximally than normal. Flexible deformity and cell correcting not more helpful. This is a P radi radiograph with which bearing so no more alignment of metatazole. Long as is convergent proximally proximally which is typical of meta versus abduction. AP radiograph of newborn, so abnormal alignment of meta -tazone. Long axis converge proximally and uh, directed majorly, which is typical of meta this abduction, abductus. Syndactyly or dactyly. Second most common developmental food abnormality, incident 1 to 13 over 1,000 dollars. Pre-axial polydactyly more often associated with syndrome than post-axial. Pre-axial, we call major to central ray. Post-axial, lateral to central ray. Public radiograph, so pre-axial polydactyly with accessory digit major to the grip to note the abnormal first metatarsal. The patient had multiple uh, other anomaly. AP radiograph so post axial polydactyly with duplication of the small toe in this age months old boy. This was an isolated finding. Post axial refer to lateral to the central ray, whereas pre axial is major to it. Quest Lano Vargas Flexible Petrol Platform Common Run for Person of population. No, it is flexible. None which bearing radiograph are normal. Abnormal on which bearing radiograph. Pin foot vulgus, four foot vulgus, no again as negrish arch high evident or lateral. Assess for obesity. Treatment may include atrophic 
with placement of sub thousand implant. AP radiogram, so a wide tallo calcaneal angle in good workers with leg out conversion at the meta tarsal base. The abnormality reduced on non wage bearing. Lateral radiograph in the same patient, so increased plantar flexion on the tarsal, forming hind foot virus. This also pronation of the forefoot with superior force of metatarsal and decreased inclination angle of metatarsal 1 and 3. AP radiograph in a certain years girl, so correction of west plano vagus by arthroeresis with metallic plantar implant. <laughs> Lateral radiograph, so vagus foot and pronated vagus for foot. This pattern is of flexible flatfoot. AP radiograph in the same patient, so vulgus hindfoot and pronated vulgus forefoot, confirming the diagnosis. AP radiograph in the same patient, but no non rich bearing, so no input or four foot abnormality. This feature of reductibility of the deformity is expected in flexible flat foot deformity. <clears throat> Club foot, Talipes Ikino virus. Incident one over one thousand bird idiopathic in nine in 80 to 90 percent of case. Predominant male, constant structural abnormality, input aging, input virus, forefoot virus, assess for other anatomy abnormality, accessories, shoulders, a plant, uh, a plastic or hyperplastic tibia artery, Questionable association with developmental dysplasia of hip. AP radiograph so near superimpose of the talus and calcanus. There is increased conversion at the base of the metatarsal, typical for foot supination virus. Lateral radiograph in the same patient, so achiness of the calcanus, the calcanus and talus are nearly parallel, confirming hind foot virus, virus. the forefoot so severe supination with the metatarsal appearing stuck typical of the clock. Tarsal coalition. Incident 1 to 15 percent of birth, 25 to 50 percent bilateral, can have more than one coalition in same group. Coalition can be fibrous, cartilaginous, or osseous. Painful rigid blood flow, persistent or intermittent spasm of peroneal muscle, most common cause of peroneal spastic blood flow. Usually secondary to developmental lack of segmentation or bone of painful. Symptoms begin in late first or second decade. 
That's our correlation, secondary sign. Talabi, due to excessive motion at palo navicular joint because of rigid subtala joint, ball and socket, jibroot, palo joint conversion of this in joint to rounded articulation generally due to unusual extensive subtala collision. Assess for rounded, convex, paladrum, and concave deviant platform. Talo calcaneal collision. Assessment of normal orientation on middle subtalar, facet and articular surface irregularity on CT or MRI image if there is no obvious process bridging. Middle subtalar facet more visible on lateral radiograph. Evaluate for C sign on lateral radiograph. Carcaneal navicular collision, anterior process of carcanus extend and broaden at union with navicular directly visible on oblique radiograph assess for versus fusion or pseudo articulation. There is no normal joint between carcanus and navicular. Talo navicular coalition, much less common. Lateral radiograph, so the antitha sign of the upper elongated anterior process of calcaneus. This long process extends to the navicular and is highly suggestive of calcaneo-navicular coalition. In this case, there is no talar beak. Public radiograph in the same patient confirmed the non osseous calcaneus and carcaneo navicular coalition. This type of coalition, coalition usually uh, can be diagnosed with oblique radiograph. If there is no further question, CT will be good for. Standing lateral radiograph, so posterior sub tala facet. Well, normally the middle facet should be visible just anterior and parallel to the posterior facet. In this case, it is not. And talocalcaneal collision should be suspended. Some of a patient so non osseous coalition of the middle subtala facet with irritability and subcortical reactive narrow signal indicate abnormal stress and degeneration. Normal facet orientation is transfer as op opposed to oblique in this case. Lateral radiograph, so a large tala beak, a secondary sign of tala coalition. This is a sclerotic C sign in the region of subtala joint, which is highly suggestive of follow tagonic coalition.
CT cell, the broad and sclerotic talocarcaneal coalition at the middle facet compared with the normal left side. Talocarcaneal coalition most frequently involved the middle subtalar facet. Additional involvement of a portion of the posterior facet occur more commonly than isolated posterior facet coalition. Congenital vertical talus, rock or bottom foot, rigid flat foot, isolated condition or part of several syndrome, constant structure abnormality, input again, input vulgus, plantar flex, talus, dislocate from navicular, or foot vulgus. Lateral of the graph, so cognitive aging, Hind foot vulgus and pronation vulgus of the forefoot. Note the plantar flex talus, which is dislocated from the navicular. Lateral diagram of all elements of congenital vertical talus. Include calcaneus again and hindfoot vulgus. Not the severe plantar flexion of talus contribute to the vulgus. The forefoot is severely pronated. A periodic in the same patient, so increased talo calcaneal angle with severe major inclination of the talus. There is pronation vulgus of the forefoot with lack of conversion at the metatarsal bone. First covers. Multiple etiology, man is strictly congenital and mimic designation. Upper motor neural region. Frederick Ataxia, lower motor neuron region, polymer lighting, Rosca ischemia, Chagot Nary tooth disease, Chinese bone food. Let us telegraph so abnormal dose reflection of calcaneus and virus deformity of bone food is. Cover virus pattern typically occur in chagot nary to disease, as in this case, but may be present with other spastic condition as well. School food. I mean, Z food. Sepatin food, severe metatarsal abduction. More rigid deformity than typical metatarsal adduction adapters. Or thai control neurological treatment. Iatrogenic idiopathic associated with multiple syndrome. Monodrop, planus and heel foot vagus, but excessive. Less for food adaptation result in life size scooping. Cerebral palsy. Food deformity are most common musculoskeletal problem in cerebral palsy. Patient may have begin virus or panel virus. Lateral radiograph, so 
Egin of the Kaganas, Vankasin food, and supinated whole food. This is another pay pattern of a spastic food with term in a patient with cerebral palsy. Obligatory graphs of hint food, virus, and severe cold food, supination, virus expected in a spastic food, such as this patient with cerebral palsy. Metaphysia bar. Rare developmental condition, proximal epiphysis of first metabasal stem along major size of uh, two head of metatazole. Linear on major size resulting in curve. First metatazole concave majorly. Clinical appearance is of metatazole tazes adapters, but the form to it give normal anatomy of metatazole is that First has only proximal AP physis and second to five to fifth have only distal AP physis and physis. Distal first metatazole AP physis is occasional variant. Thank you.